I don't think it's stuffed. I don't. I think it's papier mache. In fact, mm. I'm absolutely positive it's papier mache. And I would have thought it's probably about 1910. I don't think it's any earlier than that. Of course, Steiff in Germany made a lot of these. But I don't think it's a Steiff. I think it is probably German. It could be French, actually. Oh, and never even cowhide covering and the fact that these wheels um, these this shape is started in about 1880 um, this actual type of wheel in the Steiff factory and it's a very expensive toy of its time oh well, I mean I think it would have been a rich family who would have given their child something like this for Christmas well, I, and say, I just liked it it was the, the look of the head oh, it's such a lovely dog at auction, I would put it at probably between five and eight hundred pounds. Um, oh dear! Because it's so rare. I think I think your stand in Matthews there is is much more collectible than. than oh well, oil yeah, I have brought the items. well. I've won't, thank you for telling me the bow, but it's not that I've come for really. Well, but uh, yeah, I I, I I I know that you're fair and let people know. This is a, a, a German. Porcelain teapot with a printed garden scene on there yeah, yeah. and painted compartments yeah. with flowers on. Yeah. Um, once more, not that expensive. No, no. Um, Peter, there are so many things about Blackpool, as you know, that are rather over the top, and this is no exception. At first glance, you think it must be silver plate, but I gather it's actually all made of silver. It is indeed. It's solid silver, and um, it was a special commission by a jeweller in, in uh, Manchester, made in fact at the Tudor works of John Round and Sons in Sheffield. Um, we're not sure how long it took to make, but um, we know that they used something in the region of 700 to 1,000 ounces of silver, so um, I think they never actually weighed the final object, so they must have been cutting away bits and so forth. But how does one go about making an extraordinary thing like that out of silver? I mean, is it cast or is it die stamped or what? A lot of it would have been um, made in, in sheet, obviously, as you can see, and then all the special sections would be die stamped, the little um, parapets and towers and the windows, and then you've got silver wire and, and bars to construct the tower, which I, I gather all comes apart. Yes, it does, I, because that, that bit I do know, that uh, it is rarely cleaned right. for, for the simple reason that it takes two and a half months <laughs> to, to take apart clean and reassemble, so they don't clean it very often, so they must have treated it with something, because it's in wonderful condition. Kitsch teapots, everybody wants them. The fact that it's an old bill kitsch teapot just makes it... So you're getting about 300, you think that you would be like? I would think, I would think, no, that's yeah. an unrealistic sum of money. You put it in the right auction, I think you'd certainly get 200, you'd be on a flyer. Get 300. Hype it up a bit and you'd be quite surprised. Be and the fact that you think